What's up, what's up, my peeps? This is day five, April the 15th, 2011, of my fast. I'm Jimmy Moore from Living La Vida Low Carb, and if you've been paying any attention this week, you know I haven't had anything to eat since Sunday night. And I gotta tell you, when I first started this, that was a frightening concept to even think about. And yet here I am on Friday night, it is now just after 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'm into the sixth day, because I started this at around 4.30 on Sunday afternoon, and here I am. I'm still doing good, guys. I really am. Uh, after the first three days were pretty darn rough, yesterday, day four, was absolutely wonderful. The biggest problem I told you about was the poop issue. And today, that actually continued. This morning, I got up, had more broth, and shortly after having the broth, Kaboom! That's why my wife is shaking her head. And so I did probably about two or three uh, poop episodes, for lack of a better term. And then the rest of the day, I was fine. I've had uh, three things of broth again today. Still drinking the water, still drinking the diet sodas. And I feel fantastic. I gotta tell you, this is really shocking because I would never have believed that I could go this long without eating food. And now there's only like less than two days left before this is over. In fact, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna eat on Sunday night. Uh, we have a Easter cantata at our church. And uh, as soon as that is over and I come home, it'll probably be around 7.30, 8 o'clock. So it'll be over a week at that point, just barely. And I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna break it with some eggs eggs cooked in coconut oil and uh, however many eggs I want to eat I don't know how many at this point I'll probably start with three or four and if I'm still uh, wanting more then I'll, I'll eat more but at this point I'm gonna try to ease back into it I don't want to rush things too quickly don't want to make myself sick but uh, this is a whole new experience and I can't wait to share uh, everything I've uh, learned through this experience uh, and a lot of it's gonna have to do with you guys and your comments that you've made about this whole fasting experiment. They've run the gamut from you're killing yourself, you're an idiot, you're gonna uh, harm yourself doing this, to man, this is the best thing you've done ever, and keep it up. So <laughs> everybody and their mama has an opinion, and that's cool, I like that. There's nothing wrong with having a dichotomy of comments and, uh, and then just having people learn from the experience. And if this is something that has inspired you to try a fast for yourself, then that's great. Uh, if that's something that you feel like you can do or want to try to do, I say go for it. Uh, definitely not recommending it for the faint of heart. This is definitely not an easy thing, but if you think you can do it and wanna try it, then I think uh, that, that can't be a bad thing at all, so. Well, that's it for day five, and we will check in again on day six. And after that, day seven, you will probably see me in day seven eating my eggs. That will be the way that I'll end this whole series. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.